Marlin, it's me, Rat, and I am in front of my house, and I just noticed that there is not enough signs on my windows. Whenever I go for a walk, I see people with signs all over the place, um, with stuff that say, like, keep moving forward, and, um, you know, we can do this together. So today, I want to make some trash art to make a sign that will inspire people, just like I saw. I can't wait to see what you make. Bye. So eco art or environmental art, it allows you to celebrate your connection with nature and natural materials. So what we're going to be doing today is going out on a walk and seeing what we can find and create something super cool with it, something artistic. Um, so we'll see how that goes and I'll be back. <laughs> something interesting you guys as I'm doing this and I'm looking for things you know on the grass and on the floor is that time is going by really fast I'm getting some exercise getting in touch with nature so that's awesome I hope you guys are having as much fun doing this as I am yeah it was cool Oh my gosh, Marlon, you are not going to even believe what just happened. I came up with a great idea for something that I can make that I don't think anyone's ever seen before. And I'm going to tell you right now. But first, I want to tell, show you the supplies that I got. This top half of this box of Honey Bunches of Oats because I already took off the bottom. And I used it to make more um, bookshelves for my uh, bedroom, which are working very nice, by the way. This Coca-Cola box, which again, I cut off the bottom for another project. And I got this Red Baron pizza in perfect condition. I got this box of Sour Patch Kids because I just love the colors as well. I think it's all gonna work very well together. And then last but not least, this is what made me come up with the idea. It is the top half of a croissant box, which this is the piece de la resistance or whatever it is that people say. This is going to be a window box. A window box where I am going to put this old Halloween candle inside, put a big message in the back of, um, you know, let your light shine. Is that good? I love it. Um, we're gonna put it like that. And at nighttime, when people walk by, if they walk by, they're gonna have a message of hope with a candle that will not burn through the top a flashlight would work just as well but I actually had this from the dollar store that I bought for Halloween last year so we're ready to go oh my gosh I forgot to add I also have a little bit of fabric I think that I have no idea where this came from except I promise you that I didn't buy it I know it looks perfect condition but I guess it's like some sort of fake snow I must have used for a project a long time ago and my mom had it with my sewing stuff so this I'm also going to use. I swear to you, I'm not cheating. Believe me. I would never. See you. All right, guys. I warmed up a kettle with hot water. Make sure you have a parent to help you with the steps. We're going to make our own paint using what we found. <laughs> So right now, this is what the window box looks like. Um, I created a frame for it, as you can see, and uh, 
you know, everything looks pretty good. Uh, I think that from a distance, you probably can't read very well what it says. So I'm going to be covering, um, you know, outlining it with some black marker, especially the shine. And um, let's see how it works. See ya. So here it is. This is the back side of the box. And as you can see, I've adhered it with just some regular packing tape. And so it's just like a cool new type of poster um, that has three dimensions to it. And uh, we're going to see how that looks from the outside. Well, here we are from the outside. As you can see, I tried to go over the lettering with some black marker. I kind of regret doing that, actually. It looked better before, but it looks super cool. It looks like, you know, something that I've never seen before, which is exactly what I was going for. Okay, so it is nighttime almost now. So I am going to see how the light box is looking. I locked myself out. Hold on. Going out. And we're going to just see how it looks. All right. And uh, this is how it looks like without the lights from inside. The candle looks super cool, but definitely you can't see any of the words. So I either need like a better illuminated candle or I need something else. Don't know, but that's the whole fun of experimenting. You never know what you're gonna get. Ashley, make sure to have your parents help you with this step. going with our yellow and brown that we created in February 4th for the best one. Okay guys, so I made this sign that says keep smiling SCBBGC and it's an awesome reminder that, you know, for me personally, your guys' smiles keep me motivated and remind me that these difficult times will not last forever, that we always have each other, that we're one family, and you know, we're gonna see each other once again and we will get through this. We miss you guys and I hope you guys are staying safe and this goes to show that you guys can put your mind to anything and you can create anything you want the world is yours and don't be afraid to try because trying is the first step to succeeding in whatever you want to do so i hope you guys are staying safe once again and we'll see each other soon bye